Hello, Frugal Force. Once again, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty. And today I want to discuss another topic uh, that's a good thing. I like to promote comics that I really like. Yes, I do hold artists and writers to the fire, feet to the fire, when they do things wrong or report on bad comics too. But all, if you've known my channel, you know I also really, my favorite thing to do is support good comics so they get the attention they deserve and, and hopefully do well. And one of them that, you know, sadly is not performing real well in the sales numbers is the current 2017 Iron Fist series. Don't confuse that with Iron Fists. Ooh, that one's horrid. Well, anyway, it's a great book. It's written by Ed Brisson and the artwork starts by Mike Perkins. And this is a series that's just, in my opinion, not getting enough positive attention. It starts right out here. I'm going to show a cover of issue number one. I think it's a nice cover. Looks good. But what happens is, is in this series, is Iron Fist uh, has lost the Iron Fist. He's lost his connection to his Kung Loon. So he's not able to summon that, the Iron Fist. He's having an issue, and we're going to get into about that. And one of the ways he's trying to get it back is things is by fighting and, and putting himself in positions that he thinks is going to, you know, help, have him dig deep and get that back. And so he's been going around the world, you know, going in these underground fights and just decimating the competition. And it's just still not working. It's not bringing him any closer. So ever since he's been disconnected from his home, he, he just doesn't have that. And that's, you know, a problem. So he's, you see here some great fighting scenes and right off the bat in issue one. So before I, you know, really more talk about the fighting scenes and stuff, it's after he's getting into several fights, he's a man comes up to him in a bar and he ends up getting in a fight with him too. But he's more skilled than a lot of the fighters that he's been, that Iron Fist has been fighting for a while. Because he's been really pretty much decimating the competition. So eventually, the fighter that came up to him says, stops the fight. Says, my name is, I think it's Choshin, C H O S H I N. <laughs> he says, I come from the island of Li Shi, L I U S H I. And what it happens to be, is sort of uh, it's sort of like Kung Lung. It's very similar in some ways. There was some disagreements, and some people left, and they created their own. And what they want to be is they want to boost their station, if you will, at, you know, an acknowledgement in how they are. They want to have their own immortal weapon, if you will, to support the, the contests and things that that recently you know Iron Fist was in in a past series. So what they do is they invite. Iron Fist to come there and fight their champions. Iron Fist agrees to do it. Because once again, remember, he's been trying to get his chi back. And on top of that, during this, there he's told that if he beats these people, he can get their chi. So he can get some chi back. So he does this. And we go, he goes through a series of fights. But there comes more to it than meets the eye. As we start to learn more about this city and, and things and what they really want to do. I believe, you know, from what the story shows, is indicates, is most of them, they're actually quite honorable. Uh, but there is the one person, as I mentioned before, that is not. And, and that is, of course, Chosen. So anyway, Iron Fist does win that competition. He, and he leaves. Once again, another, and that was a great series of issues, too. But Chosen is not letting it go. He's still coming after him. And so he attacks him because he wants to take down the Iron Fist and wants his power. So we have that continuing storyline. And then when Iron Fist gets home, he finds out that his, a very important book, I'm not going to get into too much details on that, is stolen. And so who does he go to for help? None other than Sabretooth. And if you know anything about your Iron Fist history, him and Sabretooth do not have a great history. Uh, Sabretooth's origin issue is in Iron Fist. A lot of people tend to not realize that or not put much focus. So, for example, I, if I said, oh, he's a major villain for Iron Fist, people go, well, he's a villain for Iron, for uh, Wolverine, more or less. Well, he's, first of all, of course, Sabretooth's not exactly a villain anymore. He's an anti-hero kind of guy. But he, he had his origins rooted in Iron Fist. So then we have the Iron Fist story now with him and Sabretooth having to somewhat work together. Overall, this series has a very tight-knit story. It's going back into the past of Iron Fist and the legacy and the history of the character and adding more to it. 
without destroying it or being disrespectful to the character's history. Because it's very easy to go back and add things that weren't there, and it tarnishes the history or takes away from it in a way to, to things that maybe just didn't fit real well, where all this fits really, really well. It just adds to the lore of Iron Fist, giving more depth to the character. The artwork is very good. I wouldn't say it's the best artwork I've ever seen, but it's very solid, and I think it does a great job. I, there's never been a section where I go, eh, it's not very good. It's always been, hey, this is this is good enough artwork. It, I've, there's been panels that have been absolutely great, and there's panels that are okay. So I'd, I give it definitely a average to above average artwork. The, there's a lot of action in the books. Being an Iron Fist book, it probably needs it. So we have great history. Diving this past, we have great action. We have solid art and a good story that's moving at a pretty good pace, too. It's not one of those where it takes, seems like it takes eight issues to move a story where it should have only took two. So good pacing as well. So if you're not reading Iron Fist, I strongly recommend giving it a chance. So if you watched this video and you decided to give it a chance, let me know what your thoughts were in the comments. Do you like this book? Or even if you're currently reading it, let other people know your thoughts in the comments too. You know, tell them, let's share this book. Let's get this book some sales. This is a book that's getting no attention that really deserves a lot more attention. All right, guys, I appreciate you taking time to listen to this. And please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notifications bell. And granted, I know not a lot of people still get notified from that. Go figure. But at least every little bit helps. And if you do like, do like this video, please do hit that thumbs up. It helps more people see it and recognize this video because I really want to get this book more attention. I want it to be successful. I want it to keep going. I will be very sad if this book gets discontinued. Marvel needs all the sales they can get anyway, right? All right, also you can find more uh, information in my videos and articles at thehenchmanslaunch.com. And until next time, keep it frugal.